So I got one more topic that I want to get into here that deals with validation. And this isn't so much validating uh, input of records into a list, but we're going to make more dynamic or a more dynamic interface to work with formulas. So I travel back in time here. I've gone back to the list functions worksheet that we worked with in the previous sections when we were talking about list functions. And I've still got all the work here that I created earlier. Now what I'd like to do is modify my different categories here. What is this? Cells uh, H4, H7, and H10. I want to create drop down menus so somebody could jump into here and just through a couple clicks of the mouse change the category from software to one of our other categories and update the calculation. Now I'm going to use the same technique that we just got done talking about utilizing validation list to create these three separate drop downs. But I'm going to throw in a little bit of a, a, uh, a, a difference in here, something that we did not see in the previous lectures. Okay. This, is, this deals with how you create your list. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to scroll off to the right, just someplace empty, maybe this end column, and I'm going to create a list of the valid categories. So we'll say we got software, we got copying, we got rent, and I'm forgetting what else we got over there. Let's see, we got overhead, supplies, uh, overhead, supplies, and so on. We got, we got a few more over there. We got miscellaneous, advertising, technical support. I'm going to put one more. Let's say we got technical support. Uh, and I'm going to stop right there. Ideally, we'd make, we'd make the entire list over here of each of these unique values. But by just limiting it right here, we're, we're going to get the point, what's happening. So this list I'm going to use to create the drop downs that the users can pick from for the different categories. All right, now that I've got the list of valid options, I'm now going to select these three cells that H4, H7, and H10. And I just held down my control key and clicked on all three of them. So now with that selected, I'll go up to my data tab. I'm gonna go back to data validation, data validation. I'm gonna do settings. And once again, I'm not gonna allow any value, but I'm gonna tell them they have to pick from a list. And my source, rather than this time than typing it in, I'm gonna go select my list over here. What is that? N3 to N8. And that's it. I'll hit OK. And I've now got little drop downs. So I go from software to copying and I've updated my formula through a nice dynamic drop down list. So I'm trying to create something that's more user friendly, intuitive, right? Just through a little drop down. And you've now got these dynamic calculations or dynamic input and interaction with these calculations. Now, what if I add another value over here? Like I jump over to N7 or N6 and I press Control plus on my keyboard or right click insert. Let's just insert one here. Oh, you know, I'm gonna have to right click, I'll right click and I'll insert a row. And I insert something else here. Let's say we get uh, contractors, one that I didn't have before. All right, contractors, there it is. I hop back over to my drop downs. And look at that, I've now got contractors. So this dynamic little interface that users can now get into to be able to update these dynamic calculations. And all I'm using is a validation list. Try this out. Open up the exercise file, jump back to list functions. If you didn't create the calculations earlier because you didn't go through the previous section, make sure you do that or create some calculations that you can then feed in a value from a validated list.